welcome. And join us as we challenge our fears and climb 150 feet to the top of Great Isaac Lighthouse. Along the way, I will share some intriguing history and mystery of this haunted beacon, situated on an uninhabited island on the edge of the Bermuda Triangle. Great Isaac K is located where several bodies of water converge, including the Grand Bahama Bank and the Straits of Florida, which join at the Northwest Providence Channel. This adventure starts in North Bimini. Great Isaac Light is approximately 20 nautical miles to the northeast. Upon reaching the abandoned island, we anchored a few hundred yards away, then jumped in the water to swim our way to the island towards a shallow area. The K itself is essentially one giant coral head. The rugged terrain is razor sharp, making it challenging to get on the island and explore. We made it. The light was converted to an automated system with solar and battery power. You will see the pile of dead batteries at the bottom where they drop them from above. Another hundred years, this isn't even gonna be here. Uh -uh. Island. Like, look at that bowl. It's supposed to look like these up here. The entire it's lighthouse is built of cast iron. Over 150 years ago, the lighthouse was constructed as part of the Great London Exposition of 1852. The lighthouse was transported in pieces and assembled on the quay, eventually becoming yeah, operational in 1859. Look how rusty it is. Given the numerous shoals in the area, mariners welcome the addition of a beacon to safely navigate these treacherous waters. Oh. For well over a century, the deserted island was home to lighthouse keepers. However, on August 4th, 1969, it was discovered that the caretakers went missing without a trace. Their bodies were never recovered. Although the cause of their disappearance remains a mystery, it is speculated that a hurricane that had passed through the area a few days prior could be the most plausible explanation. The structures of the keeper's house, the cistern, and other assorted buildings on the compound are significantly falling apart and decaying into ruins. <laughs> the most well-known ghost is the gray lady that haunts the island. There is a 19th century tale that recounts the tragic story of a shipwreck that claimed the lives of all passengers except for a young infant who survived. It is believed by some that the infant's mother, known as the Grey Lady, still roams the island in search of her son. And when the moon is full, her mournful cries can be heard echoing throughout the area. Oh, we're almost there. It's safe. <laughs> yeah, it's safe. Maybe like... 
The light still works, right? Isn't that all that so. garbage down there? Music videos all the way up here. I don't know. Where do you think I should go? Where they go right there? All right, guys. I'm oh. going back down. I'm documenting the downward. It's hot. It's hot up here. Yeah. Look at this view. You can see in the water. Oh, is that the... What's over there? Yeah, it's just, it's just a screen. It stands here. That'll be in the, that'll be in the frame. Okay, get the fingers. Oh, man, it's documenting everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Falling. That's a good one. Ready? Yeah. In the background. The Great Isaac Lighthouse is a historic beacon that has been guiding mariners through the North Atlantic for over a century and a half. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave a comment below. Oh, this is the garden. Look at these little pods of grass. <laughs> you're, you're in prison out here. You're stuck. What? Oh no. Thank you.
Can you grab those for me? Why did you bring your sunglasses? It was sunny.